Let's take a look at creating a pivot table on Google Sheets. So it's very similar. The first thing you need to do is to select all the data that you want to include in the pivot table. So I've selected my entire transaction list. You're then going to come and click on insert. And then here you'll see this pivot table option. So you click there. It'll ask you if you want to create it in a new sheet or the existing sheet. So I'm going to select new sheet and click create. And it takes me to that new sheet. And now I can choose what I want to be in rows, columns, values, or filters. And you can drag it again. So I'm going to put my accounts under rows and you'll see they all populate. I'm then going to put my debits in values and my credits in values. You'll see it's chosen count to start off with, but I'm going to say sum. And I'm going to do that the same over here. And it's going to ask if you want to sh show it as default percentage of row or grand total. The default is probably going to be count for each of the value columns you add, but you can come here and change it to sum. And we can change the formatting of this to make it a number and you'll see it changes the formatting. And if you create this pivot table, but you notice that there's no values and it's giving you null values, then just check the formatting of your initial numbers. Make sure that they don't have any spaces. And if they do, you can use the control F trick to replace all of those spaces. And if that still doesn't work, then make sure that these cells are seen as numbers because if they're plain text then the pivot table might not pick them up as a value and it won't know what to do with it. And so you might end up with null values over here. Okay, so that's how you can build out a pivot table. You can also add filters. So again, we could come and filter by source. And here we can decide if we want to show all items or just select those with closing balances, click apply. And now it'll only show us values for accounts that have closing balance items. So there's how you can build a pivot table on Google Sheets.